giant marine reptiles like these swam in late Mesozoic seas. This mosasaur specimen was found in marine deposits in California's Central Valley. The painting shows a mosasaur attacking an ammonite. Ammonite fossils sometimes show mosasaur bite marks. The museum displays one of the best preserved mosasaur fossils. It was recovered from Kansas. This 30-foot animal had massive teeth. The small ring-shaped objects are the remains of the mosasaur's windpipe. Impressions of the animal's scaly skin can also be seen. To the right of the mosasaur is a long-necked plesiosaur specimen. At the end of the long neck was a small head with spiked teeth for impaling fish. On the wall is a very unique plesiosaur fossil that was also recovered from Kansas. One can see the remains of a plesiosaur embryo to the left of its flipper. The museum collection includes four tyrannosaurs. This tyrannosaur was discovered by Harley Garboni in 1966. The smooth parts of the skull are restorations. A young adult, a juvenile, and a baby tyrannosaur are featured displays in this hall. The growth cycle of these three tyrannosaurs shows that their snout and legs were more elongated during the early part of their lives. The unrestored actual skulls of the three Tyrannosaurs are on exhibit in the museum. From right to left are the baby, the juvenile, and the young adult. This long-necked, long-tailed specimen is of a sauropod. Some large sauropod vertebrae are on display. The museum includes a triceratops that is made from the remains of four fossil finds. Completely articulated examples of triceratops are very rare. This may indicate that they were the prey of choice for the Tyrannosaurs. <laughs>